quick photo report. Daniel Vallis here. Welcome to our channel. Just got a quick few photos I want to show you. This was here near Birmingham in Alabama. It's pretty humid tonight though, so it's kind of hazy. So it's hard to get a crisp, clear shot. But Jupiter still stood out, even though you couldn't see a lot of the secondary stars real well, even later. But as you can see, again, at twilight, it stands out. Definitely draws your attention to it, because it's the only bright, steady object out there. And it really makes it easy to find and locate, and then you just have to wait about an hour later till you can see some of the other stars better. But it's still pretty hazy, so it's hard to get a clearer shot. But here is where Jupiter is right now, in the legs, still in the hind legs, moving slowly. So it's still in primetime territory right now. And of course, we're looking at it from the same perspective that the Bible prophecy interprets the very next sign, Virgo, the Revelation 12 sign. So we're applying that to here too, just looking at it and regarding it in the leg area. And right now you could still say it's strongly in the leg area, especially if you take out the lines too as well. But again, the same way that the Revelation 12 sign is interpreted, that is how we're applying it here since we see that is the way it is in the Bible. And when we look at the projected chart, again, we could see we're in prime time territory now, but it's moving away. It's moving away slowly, but... Not too many more days, and the further it goes, the harder it is to make a case that, yes, it's still in the legs. So we're in prime time territory right now. In the month of Av, associated with Leo the lion, too, as well, and Simeon with hearing. So we have a lot pointing our attention and have drawn our attention to where we are right now. So we've seen a lot of patterns rehearsed in the previous days, and we should take note of them and record them, because there are some beautiful pictures there. But we do not know the day or hour. And Jesus told his disciples that he will come at an hour that they know not. We're going to have a very good idea of the time frame. But the final details we will not know. So we must continue to watch. We must continue to shine bright at this time. Now is the time when we examine our life. When we rise up. When we trim our lamps. Check that midnight oil. Check your relationship with God. Check your prayer time with God. Check your time in his word. Now is the time when we are running out of time, when we realize we need to be shining bright. Right now we are working on assembling a booklet that compiles a lot of the information that we've talked about in the videos, especially with the background story and how it ties in with the Revelation 12 sign too as well. We are trying to compile all this information into a booklet right now from what we have talked about in the videos just to make it easier for people to connect the dots, especially for the new people too as well, but also to make a printable resource that people can leave behind and show them that God's word is true. We see time is running out. We see events even in the world and the news. Picking up speed, that definitely shows us things are afoot. The enemy knows what time it is, and we've covered that in depth too as well. So much coming together, so pray for this project. Pray for me. I need strength. I need wisdom. And pray for this ministry that the Lord will use it to awaken others to what time it is, and that we need to get busy and shine bright for Christ right now. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. And lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Serve Christ first and highest above all else. Maranatha.